Welcome back, everyone, to episode 146 of the Super Mega Cast. Nope. I'm... That was last week. Well, fuck. One. F- hold I... on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do this again. Want to redo it? Yeah. But I'm going to keep in the fuck up, of course. That's okay. Welcome back, everyone, to episode 147 of the there Super Mega Cast because I edit the odd episodes. That's right, and I edit the fun. even ones. So I'm here with my good friend Matt Watson. That's, and that's me, and and this is my good friend Ryan McGee. Yes, but we also have uh, a special special guest over here. I'll let I'll let him introduce himself. Uh, Go for hello. it. Hello, I'm Dolan Dark, <gasps> and I make memes. That's that that is that's that's the most like <laughs> apt description. Literally sums it up completely. And um, you you probably know him. He was on Epic Rap Battles of History. He was the third Dolan twin before he was exiled, <laughs> and uh, now he's here. He's here for the week uh, for E3. And uh, was, was it like... strictly just for E3 that you um, came? Oh yeah, because I got flown out. By okay. Yourself, oh really? Cool. God, even I would... though I'm not even like a proper gamer, so. Did you get to do something with him? Um, yeah, I have to do. I got to play like Watch Dogs and two of the new games. Watch Watch Dogs Le- uh, Legion. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's sick. And, do like you it. have to say it was good when you talk about it now? That no, they, f- they don't. I they mean, don't. they flew you out here. They were very gracious and like, oh, wow, OK, here. he didn't like the game. Cool. <laughs> There's nothing. Yeah, there was nothing like make sure you say it's good or anything. It was just like because I got to do two game videos on it and then two Instagram posts. Yeah. It's like you can just say the post is sponsored. You know, that's yeah. it. But yeah, they were both like actually good games. So <laughs> did yeah. you like Watch Dogs 2? Did you? I didn't play. Oh, OK. Did you? Dogs, OK. But- the Legions is pretty sick. I'm giving them free promotion right here. I should, you know, am I might Hey, maybe, that maybe is, that is, you know everybody what? spam them and tell them to give Dolan some more money. You know, that's <laughs> We're all. We're going to bleep out the company name so nobody knows. <laughs> you won't know. Product. It actually would be because. You, we'll replace should, it with a funny wanna, sound effect. Do you want effect. us to bleep it out? We I mean, can it would be put pretty a, obvious when we're talking about the game. Like, no, we'll, we'll bleep, bleep out the game, too. Yeah. We'll put funny cartoon sound effects. I'll bleep, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just boings and. That's fine, like. Do you think that would that make you feel better? You think? No, it's good because like, I would have done because I'm getting so they want me to do two game videos and had to do some social posts and then you, obviously because it's a sponsor you get reimbursed for it. Like I would have done it just for the flight. So. Oh yeah, that's a sweet deal. Yeah. I wish um, companies would we would, would be nice to us like that. Fly us out well, somewhere. Well, one company was nice enough to let us play their zombie game. That's true. We just did our very first like paid brand deal for a game. At E3, it was fun. We got to go. We got to go play this this new zombie game. I don't know if that video is out yet. It's the one that it's the from the people that made like the Elite, sniper sniper Elite Elite. games. Rebellion, I think. Uh, I didn't see it. It was uh, it was it was fun dead though. Dead army zombie dead arm something something with zombies. Wow. So we pay them and they don't even know the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> We're no, not paid to know the name of the game. That's or, true. Or be good at. That's it. true. They also didn't say we had to say anything good about it. I'm sure. They but did. I want to because they, I actually did enjoy it. I had fun doing it. So. Mm-hmm. It does also, you know how when people get sponsors, they almost always do that. Like, this game's actually good, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To sell it, it's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's we haven't good. had any zombie games in about, <laughs> in, about a, in about a decade. Yeah, there's that Call of Duty one. But I'm, gonna sue I'm not being facetious. They know that they made a zombie game. They made a zombie game to, because they knew it would be popular to some extent. Do you reckon yeah. that genre will ever die? Or do you reckon it's kind of like superhero movies where it's just going to exist? No, that's gonna exist forever. Yeah. Just like superhero movies, zombie movies, and then every like twenty years there'll be one that's actually good, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I and like then they'll how, remake it twenty years later. I like how in games right now though, it's the trend to like you're playing against zombies, but they try everything in their power to make it seem like it's not zombies. Like in The Last of Us, they're like these aren't zombies; these are people that were infected uh, yeah. with 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 a, with a like a, a mushroom know, spore. Yeah, yeah type of virus and they have different names for them like walkers and yeah you know like it's not they don't never they don't actually say specifically zombie because right? zombie sounds goofy it's like yeah. store brand and, and name brand you know they gotta they gotta find some little slight change <laughs> like dr pepper they have like dr thumb like every single grocery store has its own version of of dr pepper yeah. coke sprite and that they're, they're not always bad because i actually read that walmart for their great value shit they literally just uh they they buy the actual product and just relabel it as their own Hmm. Or they they get the same company to produce one for them because they have some deal with them. So that's what I always thought about, like with store brand shit. Like when because they'll have store brand Lucky Charms, store brand coffee, Yo, store brand store everything. brand Lucky Charms are like, better. Is there just a Kroger fa- factory Lucky that just Charms. makes all of these bland things? 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Dolan doesn't know what Lucky Charms are. It's a lot of excuse you me. Got, you guys have so much cereal, but I Lu see Lucky Charms is a I've goofy as a has the goofy Irish mascot. Yeah, I know all the mascots, you know him. but I don't know the actual cereal. It's, like you've it, got the Tony the Tiger. Yes. Captain Crunch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there must be some others. There's a million others. There's a so so Captain or I not don't Captain know Crunch. Any, what the actual cereals are. There's Big Tom. Big Tom, yeah. Big Tom's really big. It's like one of the biggest ones. Big it's like Tom. a it's a Big Tom. It's like a chocolate cereal. Yeah. Okay. I've um, heard of that one. But basically, it's like cat food pieces. That's the best way I can describe you're it. Like it looks like cat food. It, well. <laughs> it has no flavor. It's just it's just like little like white cat food what pieces. We, which one are we talking about? Uh, Lucky Charms. Lucky, yeah. Cat. Just kind of a think of Honey Nut Cheerios without the honey. Yeah. Just a Cheerio, oh, okay. and they're shaped like cat not food. Actually, that tasty. You got to put sugar on. Well, well it, there is there's, there's a, a caveat. There's a catch. That there's was a bit more fancy. Way of I said catch. What'd you say? Caveat. Caveat? Or caveat. Whichever one you want to pronounce it as, it's fine. I didn't know the meaning of that. I've always known that word. I just didn't know what it meant. We can get back to it. The, Sorry. The, the, uh, they have little, they're not regular marshmallows. The freeze they seem freeze-dried marshmallows oh, like, that seem to be like pulverized with sugar. Yeah, like, they're so sweet. Isn't it a thing with a lot of American cereals? Like there's a lot of marshmallow-based yeah. cereals. They're not even marshmallows. Because like if you ever had a marshmallow, that's not the same thing as what's in Isn't cereal. It's just like a marshmallow You wouldn't want a soggy marshmallow. Expanded? Pretty it's much. Like... Yeah, it's a marshmallow that hasn't been expanded, I guess. It's cr it's a crunchy marshmallow. It's a stale marshmallow. They're so good, though. Yeah. Like marshmallows so and cereal. Food and stale marshmallows, like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I didn't sell that it, well. It's, it's good, not, though. It's not my favorite. Like, I think my <laughs> top two favorite, like, children's cereals. Do you know what uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Um... Yes, it's near a kid. It's uh, the taste you can see. Yeah. Um, and then there's... Uh, they stole their name from Cinnamon Toast Ken, actually. Yeah, so. that's, yeah. that's what I was thinking of. That's that crazy. He tried to sue them, but he lost. <laughs> and then one that I like because I'm a child is uh, Fruity Pebbles. Dude, Fruity... How can you not like Fruity Pebbles? What's, uh, we do have Fruit Loops. Dude, okay, Fruit Loops. Is it similar to Fruit Loops? Fruit Loops, are good. Fruit Loops with marshmallows is my favorite oh, cereal of, of all time. They just put like... <laughs> like recently, they were like, oh, we just threw some marshmallows in there. And I'm like, all right, I'll get it. And it's so much sugar, which is probably why I have so many cavities every time I see the dentist. But it's actually like legitimately really good. Yeah. And uh, I'll just like wake up at 3 a.m. and eat like two Cocoa bowls. Pops or oh, yeah. A version of that. Cocoa Pops? Cocoa Pops? They have Cocoa Pops. Cocoa uh, Pops. We don't have Cocoa do Pops. Do you have Ricey's, Snap Pack? Snap, rice Krispies. Uh, that's what they're called for you. They call them Ricey's in New Zealand? Yeah. Oh, Is it the shit. elves and everything? Yeah, yeah. Snap, crackle, okay. Pop, right? yeah. Yep, so exactly. They, I think they just change it to, to make for, it more. For the regions. Yeah. Ricey's. Ricey's. <laughs> different country. Well, I mean, you know how, you know Burger King's called Hungry Jack's? Yeah, apparently, it's Hungry you know Jack. I had no idea. There's a few, I, apparently some Mac, Mac, apparently some McDonald's are just called Macca's. That's the, yeah, that's, that's what they say in Australia. So that's the slang for Maccas. That, that's the slang, but there's actually McDonald's that have Maccas as a sign. It's Whoa. Of McDonald's, yeah. I want one of those. Let's put it up in our office. <laughs> All right. I mean, we do have to make our kitchen our meaning theme. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. We we, we lost an odds are uh, in the design of our office to where now we have to make sure our kitchen, when you go into it, has this Armenian theme. Right. So I'm thinking like, old Armenian like food store signs like a loud sports car engine yeah uh you know like a bit the big flag right over the sink there should be a motion thing wherever whenever you walk in it's the revving of an engine <laughs> <laughs> we're just biased we we're from Glendale so this this part of LA has a lot of uh no uh it's it's there's nice parts it's 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 pretty costly in Glendale it's actually like Isn't blown up in the last like two decades costly? Yes, but there are certain areas. Where, for for instance, if you kind of live more in the vicinity of the city, it's going to of course cost more. But if you live more in the suburban areas, if you go to um, uh, not Santa Monica, but like I guess Van Nuys or what's below Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks. Yeah. Van Nuys. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's where Workaholics uh, was filmed. I, yeah. it was, I always thought it was Venice Beach. Oh, no, 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 that's another place, Venice. which is oh, super then, expensive. But okay. then, so yeah, so there's Santa Monica, and then uh, up above that is where Van Nuys is, and below that is Sherman Oaks. Sherman and Oaks, then yeah. to the right is Burbank, Glendale, West Hollywood. I guess right and down were West Hollywood and... Yeah, uh, all that good shit. Look at I, that. You, you, guys, you just got a, a, I made this a into a fucking geography lesson, test. Yeah. I didn't that's, mean We're going to quiz you on it at the end of the oh, podcast. God. Yeah, I thought you meant Venus Beach, because... I That's always, what I thought when I first moved here. I thought Venice was Van Nuys. I always heard, well, the boardwalk, right? It's like the big tourist attraction. Yeah, yeah. I honestly thought it was a shithole. Oh, you went? Well, that's why it's fun. 
that, it's like, trashy. Like just like was, Holly. Did you go to Hollywood Boulevard too? Um, see how trashy that was. I didn't actually. I went to Sunset Boulevard literally just to get in and out. Okay. Mm. Um, Wait, what do you think about In and Out? Okay. Burgers were really good for the fries. Chips were the worst chips I've ever had. Oh, fri- the fries were the worst fries I've ever had. That's usually life. everyone's takeaway, where it's like, this is a good burger for the price the they give it to me. The fries were literal cardboard. Yeah, you, like, a lot of people... You can get animal style. Did you get them like... Yeah, animal style, burger. that's the way to I go. Did you get them floppy or well done? Can you ask for you can You can ask for them to get uh, I literally well done just said, so they're I crispy. Get a, a double-double combo, whatever the hell you call it. That's what I get. I get a double-double animal style. I get the fries animal style. So... so but it's not, it's not, I don't, the, we don't like it out that much. I still just like, Wolf Animal Star is still just edible. They're not like amazing. Yeah, exactly. And you just kind of throw that so like slop on that top. Garbage on top of fries. They're not good fries. Like, I didn't want to triple the fat content of the fries because the burger probably already had I've so much. In it. Never had Animal Style. Wait, so. really? Yeah. I've, because I always have my burgers gross, as you would probably say they are. It's just plain. Um, you know? also, plain with cheese or plain with ketchup. I can't. Cause I, cause obviously I was sick. I couldn't really taste for a few days, which sucked. Cause like the one big thing I wanted to do in America was try like every single fast food place that we didn't have there, didn't have in New Zealand. So, I think we had Jack in the Box. Is I like Jack, Jack in the, the Box. Box. Yeah. I feel like it was cheap, and they had curly fries. Is that Jack? Yeah. In the Box? And they were actually good. You know, like thirty people died in the '90s from food poisoning from Jack in the Box. It's awesome. Really? It yeah. It's it was pretty gnarly. It's pretty sick. That's um, fun. I haven't tried Chick Fil A though. I heard they were like they're good. Chick Fil A is good. It's really good. I heard they were in kind of controversy because they, they they're, they're always kind of controversy. They're like a, they're like a they don't like the gays type. They're of thing. like closed on Sundays sort of shit. I used to work there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Back right. in high school, when I was a good little Christian boy. Yeah. I'm at, I'm at a still am mom. Um, <laughs> and I I worked there for like two and a half years. Growing up in South Carolina, not doing again and being Christian boys, it being closed on Sunday, you'd be like, wow, this this place shows respect where no other restaurant does. Yeah, and it gives good food. These old yeah. dudes would always come up and be like, I just want to tell you something. It is so respectable that y'all are closed on Sundays. I hope y'all never stop doing that. And I'm like, all right, well, that has nothing to do with me, but I just like that I get a day off. <laughs> They'd always come, like, tell it yeah, directly more, to me. more of a tip, like... Oh, you know, Chick-fil-A? they don't tip... They don't, no, no tip at, oh, at right. Chick-fil-A. The there was actually a, a thing, like, a thing where if anyone ever tipped you, you, you were, like, obligated. You had to go give it oh, to wait, the restaurant. That's also a new thing, is we don't have tipping in New Zealand at all. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, I, I find tipping a bit... Of a weird system but i was like asking all my american friends like when i come over here what do i tip what do i not tip so fast food you never tip right no, no. You, you tip usually you only tip if it's like a or what, like got, a sit yeah, down or like something kind of yeah. so it's when they bring the food to you is when you tip is mm-hmm. much not always though because like usually if the receipt just has it on i always feel obligated so like at e3 oh yeah i got i just got a beer from a cart and then i had a tip thing i'm I, like oh, i don't want to leave that blank i'd say you tip with delivery you don't tip with takeout yeah. You tip when you what sit if- down at the restaurant. Usually, you don't tip at fast food. You tip the people that park your cars if you go to a place what if you that sit does. Down at a fast food place because I went to. No, 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 no. You, you never, tip. you never tip at a fast food place uh, unless you feel nice I, and you put they're it in lower the people box though, or something. They're, they're much lower people. I went to um, IHOP actually for breakfast. It was actually genuinely. Well, IHOP, you tip. Genuinely good. Because IHOP's not technically fast food. Okay, yeah, well, I did tip. So. Okay. Okay, but, for a second, your eyes got real big. I was like, <laughs> oh, no, I got to go fix uh, something. I was like, run that four, four days back. I'm sorry. No, because I, I, it was really cheap breakfast. Like, It's a full, cheap. A full thing, two pancakes. Actually good breakfast, because I thought it was fast food. And then when I went to pay, I put the money down. Like, I put a tip, you know, what is it, 15%? Like, is the standard 15, 15 20, to 20, 20 yeah. yeah. So I, I think I put like fifteen percent tip, and then she came back and gave me back the change. Like that was the tip, and I was like, "Oh no, you keep that." Yeah, they will so always was, give you back the change because they never want to insinuate uh, yeah. that they're gonna I've break take apart. All your money, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So okay, they'll that's... bring it back to you, and then you tip from there usually, <laughs> oh, or if you okay, pay with card. I didn't realize like, so visiting America, would you say there's a lot of anxiety around tip? Like if you go out, like because you don't know the tipping rules, are you? I f- think I'm good now. But okay, just initially was just um yeah I was, I was a bit spooked like i don't want to you know you don't want to be an arsehole and tip too low but then again it was like does that service like say because i had breakfast at the hotel i'm at mm-hmm. the guy, we had, we got the buff oh we got the buffet right mm-hmm. and the the waiter bought us juice like once that was it like but the receipt still had like the tip section it, it shows you like what percent 
you know, it will be like 15, 18, 20%. Yeah. Like, yeah. What, what amounts to tip. And I was like, does that really warrant another six bucks from this already ridiculously expensive buffet breakfast? Tipping honestly is like stupid. Well, that was, I, the, I'll do it because well, it would suck to the people that work. But well, that's the next thing I was going to ask in terms of when, uh, visiting the States, would you say like tipping definitely does add a lot to like travel costs? So like it's more expensive for one to I'd, visit the states than it would for like other places, I'd or does it feel pretty at balanced? Least LA in LA because it's really, yeah. really expensive here compared yeah. to. Well, like, that here in New you York. Guys also, don't include tax until you. Yeah, I hate iron. that. It's, it's so stupid. So like, I went out to lunch and I got like some you know kind of flashy area. Not really. No, in LA, like a flashy place. Yeah. It was like you know eighteen bucks for a burger sandwich sort of shit. That sounds LA. like five guys. Yeah. And then then they add the tax and then they add the 15%. Um, so it's always like so much more than like what it actually Because there's says. also a food tax. Yeah, LA uh, has its own like food tax uh, and shit. The one I went to had like, we add an extra 2% for our employees' health care or something. Some some weird shit. But anyway, it was like a $17, it gets marked up to, what, about 20, 21 US dollars, which is about about 30 new zealand dollars i'm just like i just paid 30 new zealand dollars for something that would have cost 12 new zealand dollars back home. yeah that's insane man like at least just super was, fucking and then seeing all the homeless i'm like no fucking wonder like the prices for everything are ridiculous yeah are you wait is, is this your first time in america yeah very first time oh, i've shit. only ever been to australia like four times unfortunately la is is what uh there's cooler parts of america states yeah, yeah i i guess <laughs> If I knew some like someone that would knew all the best areas in LA, it might have been better. I mean, it was still cool, like really cool to see the place. But I'm very, very glad I didn't pay for the trip because I would be very disappointed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of. It's like I didn't think LA was cool until living here for like three years when I actually yeah. started to discover things. There's just a yeah, lot of hidden gems. Areas, yeah. I guess there's like really cool. It's like once areas. you start to get to know it, it was a lot of cool stuff. Have San Francisco was the best. Tokyo before. Yes, yeah, that was cool. It's right by Skid Row, though. But that, that, yeah. that's also the thing about LA is how you'll have a really nice street and then two streets like down is like this homeless shithole. And that happened. So I, I booked an Uber to, I just typed in Little Tokyo. Like, mm-hmm. And it, it it just gave the Uber the direction to like the middle of Little Tokyo. And she just pulls up on this like, it's like this deserted road with all this like construction shit, like really dodgy looking. And I was just, she's like, is this where you wanted to get out? I was like, no <laughs> maybe could you go could you ma- i was like i mean could you maybe go up a bit and she goes up like one road turns right and there's just something little tokyo like this really nice place I yeah like, that's how downtown i mean that's how like la is in general there'll be uh like a really expensive sushi restaurant next to a really upscale like shoe store i mean you go one street over and there's like 50 tents and like someone tweaking out in the middle of the yeah. street little tokyo has some of the little Tokyo has good sushi. Uh, yeah, Monzo is there. good. Uh, we've been to a place, uh, Hama Hama Sushi. The place the all in little Tokyo. Yeah, just, we went to one that had two two dollar beers. They oh gave, shit! They gave you a pint for, of supper for two dollars. I didn't know that. Awesome. I'm gonna have to figure out where You're that have is. To find out. Yeah, it was that's like tucked away. It was like upstairs. Oh it shit! Like, it was near some cyber cafe too. Cyber cafe. Okay. okay. Yeah, but I yeah, that's, that's just the weird thing about LA is there's no like there was no consistency between streets. At least it's super I've, spread out too. At least when I've gone to because the only cities cities I've gone to is like the big Australian ones like Melbourne, the Gold Coast, and then Auckland and stuff. But they're pretty consistent. You know, you're not gonna take one wrong turn and be in like a garbage hole. It'll just yeah. It's more like the center city will be the, you know, the most busy spots and as it spreads out it gets different like, areas yeah. dispersed a bit but That's, here is just like the streets are so empty too because this the city's so big it's so spread out like, like you go to new york city and which is the same way by the way with like the streets like nice one what, bad like one, one nice turn? one bad one okay yeah but but then uh it's so compact <laughs> compared to la la is like that's even in downtown Columbia, though, where you'll have the university streets. Then right behind the university streets is public housing that like is f- for is like a low income area. Yeah. Specifically because college students rent out those properties. And so the the low income people will pretty much afford the same as much as college students can. And so you'll get like a very rich high end dorm with a pool on the roof and stuff like that. And then you'll go down about five blocks and then it's just kind of like, like broken down houses yeah. and yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, so 
this is so if this is your first time in America and sorry, hold on, let me let me read no. that. No, I'm sorry. So, nope. <laughs> I'm the one editing, baby. I have right. all the Cut power. it out. Don't put, don't keep it in. I have all the don't, I lost power, my train baby. of thought. Don't keep that in. I'm so well, this is your new train of thought. God damn it. Man. All right, Dolan. I uh, always lose my train of thought. What's up with that? That ever happened to you guys? Ah, uh, damn, yeah. That's a good I, I could have transitioned that to a good conversation. I just did. Go well, on. I do lose my train of thought. Yeah, that does happen. That is interesting. Me. Like it just happened a few seconds. What do you think ago. about that? Do do you do you lose your train of thought, Dolan? Yeah, a lot. I'm very and I always always forget like key words when I'm trying to have a discussion. I'm just like what word was I trying to think of? Like, I mean, you just, just like now, sit there in silence. Just yeah. now when I talked about how there was no consistency between LA streets, I was sitting there for a whole minute trying to think what that word was. Consistency? You're yeah, like, I was uh, like, what is conception? that word? Con- yeah. Fuck. I always forget words all the time in like the middle of recording videos and I'll be sit there and I'll like just sound words out that have the same beginning letter and I'll like, get, uh, I'll hoping get closer, I grab onto it. It's not a way. I just sit there like a moron just trying to think of the word. Well, it's better than going. Uh, well, uh, it's the it's the uh, con- concave, concave, convex. convex oh yeah, because you you didn't you didn't know concave and convex, and people slaughtered you for that. Oh, the, well, I got them mixed up at some point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got it mixed up, and like people were like, "What a fucking idiot! Holy shit! What a stupid piece of Cause scum!" Because I always thought, like concave is like a cave. You go in, so that's why I, it is. Okay, th- I thought I did. Yeah. I yeah. not get it. That I just yeah. concaves that. Okay, so I got convex it. is 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 when it's Might like just brought out. brain fart. Then I don't know. Or people are just gaslighting you. That is true. You know? I don't know. I don't know these days. The yeah. bi- the big thing now is gaslighting people. It, it is. I saw someone online thought that I was a sociopath because you are. But you're bringing it up oh, well, so people will come to your defense because you're a sociopath. God damn it, Ryan! <laughs> everyone likes to be like an armchair psychologist. On someone was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Matt, Matt, Matt. The way Matt jokes with Ryan, the way he gaslights him. Do you know what gaslighting is? Isn't that when you convince? What's the difference? Exactly. You, you, so, like, if I convinced that... Ryan uh, something that's just not true, but I like do my best to convince him it's true. Or you like get mad at him for something that he didn't. Even exactly. Do, so so I, we do that a lot when we record on podcasts and shit. But it's obviously you joking. You can like make people think they're going crazy. Yeah. And like, I just think that he has a, a sociopath complex. Like, because for of instance, that. if if you texted me. Um, Hey, I'm gonna arrive at your place at six. You show up at my place, and all of a sudden, I'm like, I didn't read it, but I don't want to admit to it. I'll be like, No, I never got that text. And me delete me the, the act of deleting the text and showing it to him is gaslighting because it's rewriting it's, history. Yeah, <laughs> in your favor. We, we'll, we'll just gaslight him a lot. We actually already did it on this podcast. Yeah, we made up a serial name, Big Tom's. That's not. We just made that up. I I I did question that a bit i know i was like i was like damn all right well i, w- I felt like if i've heard of fucking tony the tiger i've probably heard of big tom <laughs> big, big tom's, tom's chocolate, chocolate cereal, cereal. Yeah. Yeah. Be known, i was suspicious <laughs> i mean someone could steal the idea now and make it that is true and or we, we, we have no just copy go with it and run with it and make we can make our own cereal yeah how hard would it be to make our own cereal just, fda approved i mean by the sounds of America, just put fucking marshmallows. Yeah, just get some like cat food and throw marshmallows in it. Like, yeah, that's so cereal. You, you do dog food. That's your yeah. Big, that's your big selling point. Do some dog food. Throw some sugar in there. Some food coloring. Throw Parmesan bunch of, cheese is powder. Actually yeah. A gamer flavored. Gamer flavored. Yeah, it's gamer flavored it stuff, like dude. So they're like gamer cereal. I was, yeah, I was gonna say gamer themed cereal. Like there should be like gamer milk. Little controllers. Little like. <laughs> Yo, I don't think there is gamer symbols. Yeah. That's that's smart, man. Yeah. That's that's I mean, really smart. You guys can. And I know they don't have that in New Zealand, so maybe you should go back and, and try starting that up because uh, sounds like Microsoft should start theirs, and you'd get like uh, Banjo Kazooie and Master Chief and Minecraft Mark and all and, and all Minecraft ball. Mark, <laughs> and then that's it because that's the only games they have. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're good if you have Minecraft. Yeah, fucking... yeah, I'm glad Minecraft memes haven't like died down. They're actually at their peak. Right I now. know because like four years ago I was like, oh man, these Minecraft memes are funny, but you know in like a year it's gonna be so old, and it's yeah. like now it's twenty. 19 and they're halfway through 2019 was minecraft doing them since the beginning though back then it was a lot of them would be like minecraft parody you know when you get the little kids singing like parody <laughs> yeah yeah songs which by the way you can't do memes of anymore because record companies that oh yeah they'll just claim hungry you i had two seconds of a god's plan parody minecraft parody obviously <laughs> probably called steve's plan i'm just <laughs> i'm assuming it probably was anyway umg claims it for composition Two seconds out of like a forty second video. Oh, we we did a best of twenty eighteen video, which was almost like three hours long. And in the very beginning, I used this music for like five to ten seconds. That yep. I was told by someone was like open open source or not open source, uh, 
public domain because it's using like a lot of cartoons and TV shows. Yeah. yeah, so I use it, and then like just a week later, it's like now they're monetizing your video, and you'll never make did money you off get it. Get it from YouTube. I did. Yeah, uh, I've heard that M before. Like, but I looked it'll, up it'll the say copyright free, and you're like, oh, cool, and then it's actually not, and then they just claim it like a week later. Cause... Yeah, it's super frustrating. So that I don't whoever owns that song is getting all the money to that now. So you've, you've rightfully been, so they right, made the song exactly right? huh well they they did the whole three hour video too of course yeah, yeah they did they might as well I have they added a sort of percentage based thing yeah it's I like would oh you that would be too much work on YouTube I end. would not even say say I, I had like a two minute video I used like ten seconds or five seconds of a song I wouldn't mind giving like ten percent or twenty percent even. Yeah, like it, just so they're not taking the whole thing because but, it's like that song does not make the video. I would not have used it, and also, we could have used something else. Like, it would have been just fine. Say you had like a, a hundred second long video, you use five seconds of audio. They are technically claiming all your revenue for not even five percent. Of the video, yeah. It's two and a half percent of your video because obviously you have the visuals too. So they're getting like the full amount. And just for the audio yeah it's r ridiculous do you get demonetized a lot actually not too often it, it does vary i'll have a week where everything will get demonetized same and upload, there's but... a period where it was so bad for us like every video and then they kind of like I chilled out a little bit it. it's getting a bit worse these days yeah it started reason. picking back up again where we'll get like two or it three videos a week when i'm trying to do a time constraint meme because you know memes will be dead in a week you gotta or jump a few on days. that shit yeah like, if i miss if, like in la i've probably missed like 20 memes just by not being able to edit. But like, you know, if I'm trying to upload to cash in on this meme that I like, if it gets delayed 24 hours because of demonetization, people could beat me to the idea. People, Absolutely. The views are going to be halved because, yeah, it's it's all about being on time sort of thing as well. What are you editing? Uh, Sony Vegas and After Effects. Okay. Ooh. Weird combination, but... That is, be, yeah. Can't be fucked learning Premiere, so... Did you ever try learning... Pre Wait, so you never... So you didn't learn Premiere. I like Premiere So we're in the more. opposite. We're in the opposite. Wait, have you ever had, tried Sony? I, I, I used a, Vegas for a while. I had Sony was... Vegas is still really good for just, like, clipping and um, syncing audio. Because... Okay. I don't know how Premiere is, but After Effects is a fucking nightmare if you're trying to like yeah oh anything with audio yeah fuck that the, they, it's almost like when they made that program they're like eh, no one needs so sound does, does premiere not show waveforms no premiere that? does i don't yeah. know why after effects does that um uh, yeah so i usually what i do is i'll i'll piece the thing together in sony vegas and then the edited part will be rendered out separately in after effects so which I, I use sony vegas as the final render sort of yeah thing. well i like premiere for the reason that you can edit in premiere and, and then click yeah. a clip and take it straight that in after effects cool. yeah and it keeps it like together sort of thing i love premiere but i also i have a love-hate relationship the, I, I hate the, it it's the, such a horrible program but it, it's at the same time it's like the best i can use program is just a horrible program. there's like no good ones unless you're going to use one of those like film ones like avid it's, but it's like why would i use that for memes it's weird because it's hard to complain to a mass group of people like why you're frustrated with the fact that they change how legacy titles show up and how the title system works in uh, Premiere? Because no, everyone's like, "That's just how you add text wanted, on screen." I, That's I want, a little thing. I want to rip my hair out every time because they it used to create titles. There used to be this kind of somewhat complex window, so you could change the letting, the kerning, the font, the size, the bevels, and everything, and everything about it. Like, man, on After Effects, so. And so, it's so bad. it would come up with a window where you, it gave you all of these controls, but now they've made it so the default way to put titles into Premiere is more the like iMovie dumbed down version of that. It makes doing like subtitles a fucking nightmare. Because you yeah, have to keep opening up all these. Pretty much nightmare. I know, oh my god. You just like having to time everything. And... I, I think I've done like five gaming videos now. Because I was like, you know, it's always good to branch out sort of shit. Yeah. Because, you know, meme, like, just how, you know, YouTube's, like, cracking down on a lot of third-party content. I was like, well, memes might not be around forever. But anyway, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll subtitle my videos. I tried subtitling for, like, 30 seconds of the 10 minute video. I was like, fuck this. It's going to, like... Oh, 30, dude, that, when gonna, you do like, that, fuck... It's going to, triple the time it took to edit because it's just so slow and it's tedious. I was like, I'm just not going to subtitle until, unless you literally can't hear what I'm saying. So Yeah, that's what we do. Like, if we do, like, an outdoor shot, it's kind of far away. It's like, eh, people have, like, different speakers and shit, so we'll do that. The worst 
things I, I, I didn't like. Okay, not the worst. Th- they're not the worst things, but I did not like editing them. And you'll know you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I think you should already know what I'm talking about. I already know about. what you're talking about. It's, it's uh, when we used to edit for The Markiplier. Markiplier. Um, it was Ugh. his compilations where every kind of... We would have to edit the compilations, but not only that, we would have to subtitle it. But not only that, we would have to animate the subtitles. So, like, as well. like make the subtitles like real snazzy, where they like jump around the screen. What and, like, the fuck? And like, like make words fuck like, shake flip around. Big. Yeah, it's like uh, that was that was that was the most tedious I learned a lot process. from that process. I did. I, I did learn a lot, uh, which I'm glad I did learned you have from. To do but it for video, or was it no, just, just like the compilations. Yeah. I, remember, I think I remember watching one where you put one of my images. Like, oh, fu- I did. Ago. I forgot. He said because he didn't want us to like type the word fuck out because I think something about like it was so we'd use P H U K or do like do duck and show yeah. a picture of and a I remember duck. like I was like I oh the text being like watching it be like that text looks so tediously done like it's a lot of keyframing well yeah a lot of people who don't edit also won't really realize just like. That small shit just a lot of people don't realize like how much time that kind of stuff t- uh, takes or like how much work yeah. has to go into like <laughs> tiny ass edits because I look I'm, at your edits and I'm like like well, you'll, you'll do like a 10 time. second <laughs> meme but I look at it I'm like god damn it that would take me like oh, five yeah. hours in After so Effects there'll be like most memes there's usually like you know like two thirds will be the original video then one third will be like an edited thing and it's always like it's got like down to a science five second you know five seconds of footage will take like three hours to actually Motion. I'm pointing at the mic. Could you t- oh, sorry. 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 Can you say that again? What? Sorry. I, I, I'm just making sure it's more pointed at your mouth. Oh, right. Yeah, cool. Sorry about what that. Was I saying? You were saying how long it'll take to do like an edit where it's like five seconds. Oh, yeah. It's just like a lot of people will be watching and just be like, eh, and not realize that like just five seconds had like, like three hours of work into it because you get like, you know, you had to motion track and match all the colors and just you know just small shit that no one's really gonna pick your motion up tracking so good so like i mean it's it's not really hard when no after you're effects. a huge inspiration when it comes to like after effects and shit i'm like after Fuck, effects, I wish I could do that. the thing is, is after effects does do most of the job for you it's just fixing this the hiccups fixing a little shit yeah like technically it's easier than sony vegas and other you know when you when you motion track by keyframing yourself, it's obviously way easier than that because it does. Yeah, do it for you, you, but then you gotta tweak but it. But obviously, to make it... yeah, it's still. I don't know. I, do, I I can appreciate good tracking, but then at the same time, it's like. Do you, you want to do that for five hours for a Minecraft meme? It's like yeah, or know. also just like you appreciate good tracking, but at the same time, it's not actually that difficult. It's just tedious, but. Then again, that's most that's pretty much all editing, really. Yeah, editing is just tedious. Like one of the, it's, it's so like tedious. It's time consuming and. It's rewarding. Majority is not hard to do, you know. Unless yeah. you're Doing those really big YouTube poop things, like you know, Mountain Dew and stuff. Oh yeah. But that takes. That's skill. insane. Because that's like a Pepsi Man video. And shit. T- yeah, that's obviously time consuming it as well. But he's using like twenty different effects and twenty different sources of knowledge to create this certain specific thing. Like having that much knowledge is just yeah. like admirable. I wish I could. I just can't find myself like I oh, like I, I don't know where to I start. Could never ever do that because I would just get impatient with how long it would take to rent yeah it exactly and um it's like i i think that stuff pays off though like i i really enjoy the feeling of like looking at, at something that's done after you've edited it like if you put a lot of work into it oh uh, yeah but I like used, it's just tedious you, oh, i think i still do if i do a, a big project like if i spend a lot of hours on a project that i'm proud of i'll probably rewatch it like so many times i do that too until i'm sick yep. of it and never watch it again but well, that's what I think. That's where the best shit comes when you rewatch it, because there'll be whether it was stuff in Cinego or stuff with Super Mega, and yes, some things have aged. But when I was editing something, as you said, you just watch it over and over and over again, and then some jokes landed really good the first time, but not the fifth or sixth time, and so oh, you decide I'll it. cut that oh, and yeah, trim yeah. it, and then or you could it can be change it and make it well. different. Like yeah, if you hear the same joke twenty times, you're not gonna think it's funny. But That's true. You start. I I I have have that with memes sometimes. You know, like you self doubt. Is this even funny? And then you put it out and it gets a really good reception. Yeah, because because like I only imagine you can edit. You know, my name's Jeff. So many times before you're like, <laughs> I is still this still bring funny? That, bring that back into video. Form. No, I I I'm we fully support that. In fact, Damn Daniel is still probably my favorite yeah. meme of all time. Yeah. Uh, 21 was just used as an intro of one of our episodes. It was, on yeah. A, on the 21st episode it's literally of something. Like, in, like, my name Jeff has been going, ironically, for like three years now. I think Max 
started bringing it back and I was like, I'm jumping on that train. And I just, I'll just sprinkle it occasionally, you know, just yeah. a few months will go by, no Jeffs, and then be here. <laughs> okay. That's he lost a, a, like a, like a bet in this betting game where he had to get the waveform of my name Jeff tattooed on him. I'm not gonna. And do he backed that, out. Of course, I'm gonna back out. Who, 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 I have to be punished somehow. We don't. That, we don't know the punishment. Put the bit up. Our, our, our editor, editor Justin. Justin. He. Uh, I respect him. Put in. Yeah, Justin. Good it was guy. out of a hundred too. <laughs> what do you mean? So it's this game where basically it's like Ryan. What are the odds? You know, you gotta. You know, for the next ten minutes, the podcast just suck my toes. Okay. Very, uh. uh Fifty. Because you know he set the number fifty because it's I don't like the number doesn't really want to do it. Do the higher the number 100. is. Fifty. So fifty one to one to fifty or and any num- then we will count down and then we have to choose at the same time a number one through fifty at the end of that countdown and we both say it at the same time. If it's the same number, I have to do it. If yeah. it's if it's different, then I don't have to do so it. So it's like Ryan, what are the odds? Oh, I... You gotta suck my toes right now. 50, fifty. Three, two, one, twelve. Twenty six. Okay. See? Okay. So he doesn't have to do it. I said twelve, he said twenty six, but if he said twelve too, or if I said twenty six then there's one one little change you can make. Uh, is the number two. Two means that, for instance, I'll give you something, Matt. Uh, what are the odds you take your shoes off? Oh, man. Two. Two? Oh, no. Okay. So now, if we both say two, he has to take his shoes off. If we say, if I say one and he says two, or if he says one and I say two, I take my shoes off. Okay. It's just that. It's so, 50-50. Yes. Yeah. So it's like if it's like a really bad one you don't want to do, you can flip it back on them and be like two, which we've we've and had then, some because oh, then because then, they, cause then you force a gamble. You're gambling. So you can force you the person to back out then because they'll so take like, out their could question. You've done that with the Jeff thing. You're like, you I could have. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a Jeff tattoo, but it would be funny to see him get one. So exactly. Like, okay. Exactly. Like two, and then he probably would have back backed out. out if I did two. But Absolutely. You, so you can always back out when they flip it on you. Still, it's it's shameful. Yeah. You know, I still have to think. We still have to come up with a punishment that Justin has to. Uh, perform, okay, yeah, on you for not on me, Jeff. yeah, exactly. Maybe he can brand you with Jeff instead. <laughs> oh, Ooh, yeah, the waveform is like a metal, like an iron brand, and just like <laughs> I was thinking, just the actual Channing Tatum face, not a waveform. <laughs> oh, like like kind of like a like a resistance. You do piece it while I'm it sleeping. Just... I have no choice. Yeah, yeah, dude, I, getting branded. It sounds like one of the worst things. They like, did. That one in Jackass. Was it Jackass Steve-o? too? Or no, it was no, Bam. it was Bam when they like brand the dick on his ass like fifty times. You know, I, I can't remember where I saw it and why the guy had so much knowledge, but apparently you have to press it for, like, less than a second, and it will leave, a, like, an actual good scar. Well, you know, a good scar. You a good-looking brand No one brand wants an scar. actual scar, but, you know, like a good... You know, no branding scar is good, but, you know... But then there's videos of people pressing it for, like, eight seconds. <laughs> yeah, and it's and like, you that, can't stay still when that happens. All that's going to do is, like, ruin their muscles and, you know, everything. But they get, like, third-degree burns. Then, yeah, third-degree burns, and give them, like... Probably they'll probably need medical attention or they'll get a fucking oh yeah like yeah that'll get infected you fucking shit. die from that but yeah I, I can't remember what I saw but it was like a quick it's a little half tap. a second press and it yeah. actually left yeah like a, a good um, <laughs> brand we could all get them together so yeah if you if you need punishment ideas I've just given you Justin what? let's brand them I don't I don't I'd rather get the waveform tattoo than <laughs> well it's too late for that face. you already said you backed out of it with Channing Tatum's face that is true yeah that that's very better than the waveform right. Man. Because the waveform, when they look at that, everybody will know. That's the waveform for my name of Jeff. Everybody but if they look at Channing Tatum's face, looks. they won't know what that is. They know it was the waveform. Because you just know it by looking it's at it. It's common knowledge, my man. Jeff. Couldn't it be like, damn, Daniel? So it's like, it's going to be like the the little, I would get the damn Daniel one. Because it goes, my name Jeff. But damn, Daniel. Yeah, it's very damn different. Damn, Daniel. But there's probably a lot of other things that could be other than my name, Jeff. You know? Well, I mean, I, I think it's everybody very recognizable. It, you know? I think you know. You look at that and you're like, "That's it's what one of those that things." Is. Everyone knows it. It's yeah. it's like the M in McDonald's. It's like the it's that red recognizable. And Coke. It's like a cross. Like you look at the cross and you're like, "Christianity." Jesus. You look at that waveform. You're like, "My name, Jeff." You know it. You know it right off the bat. We interrupt this super mega cast to bring you advertisements. Yes. You probably spend about 90% of your life in underwear, so don't you think you owe it to yourself to make sure you're wearing the softest undies in town? That's why I only wear me undies, and so does Ryan. These undies are so gosh darn soft that I like wearing them because they're so soft. MeUndies uses the coveted micromodal fabric, which is a full three times softer than cotton. Not only will you feel like your loins are being hugged by joy itself, but MeUndies gives you multiple style options for both men and women. Men can now try the new boxer brief with fly, which is the same great cut as boxer brief, 
but now with an added option for guys who prefer to go through the gate versus over the fence if you catch my drift. I know what you're, I, you guys know what I'm talking about. MeUndies is also the go-to for the softest loungewear on the planet. Hang out in their super comfy lounge pants and onesies. Yes, banana, shut up. Oh, I just, oops, I just gave away that I'm recording this from my bedroom on my cell phone and not in the recording studio. Yes, MeUndies makes onesies, and they're incredible. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. When you buy any MeUndies, you get 15% off and free shipping. Get 15% off a pair of the most comfortable undies you will ever put on. To get that 15% off, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. I am wearing MeUndies as I'm recording this ad read in my bedroom at uh, 12.06 a.m. Uh, so if that's proof that they're comfy, uh, you know, I, I ain't just blowing smoke, you know, I'm legitimately recording this in my bedroom on my cell phone at 12.06 AM. Uh, and I'm wearing me undies right now, just by coincidence, because they're so soft that my brain just wanted me to put them on. So yeah. Wow, Matt, I'm also in my place of living, recording a podcast ad on my phone. Isn't that crazy? So let's talk about Robin Hood. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. While other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, Robinhood doesn't charge any commission fees, so you can trade stocks and keep all your profits. Plus, there is no account minimum deposit needed to get started, so you can start investing at any level. The simple, intuitive design of Robinhood makes investing easy for newcomers and experts alike. View easy-to-understand charts and market data, and place a trade in just four tabs on your smartphone. You can also view stock collections such as 100 most popular. With Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio. Discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for your price movement so you never miss the right moment to invest. <coughs> Robinhood is giving listeners of Super Megacast a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you build your portfolio. Sign up at megacast.robinhood.com. So remember to sign up today at megacast.robinhood.com to get your free stock. Whoa! End ad read segment. You have any tattoos? No. What about yourself? Yeah, I got I, one. I have two. I have a little thing from The Simpsons and a... I have a triangle tattoo on here and then I have a tattoo of the Iron Giant on my right shoulder. It's uh, pretty cute. Any like backstory to them or just thought that'd be cool? Always wanted a tattoo. Uh, I've always wanted this one yeah. and that's my easy what, backstory. What's his name? Uh, Blinky. Blinky. It is Blinky. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be a Simpsons. The one, <laughs> uh, the one right there, uh, is just kind of like a in memoriam tattoo, an homage, like a, an homage to Daniel because he had the same tattoo, uh, on in the same place. And then the Iron Giant, just because I used to watch it all the time with okay, my dad, and I go. wanted something to kind of have there. And then my mom, my mom got jealous, so I have to come up with an idea for her. Uh, really? I, I could get, I could have her put some red lipstick on and kiss and, the iron giant and, kiss, and then tattoo that yeah, exactly exactly what i was thinking i still think you should put like a like an obey hat and like a like a <laughs> adidas track suit on him like my mom like a loves cigar. adidas tracks no she your wears mom them all the time fantastic in adidas track suit if i got her one do you think she'd actually wear it yeah would she yes yeah, i need to know her sizes then if you give me your sizes i will i'll ship it to her i don't know my mom's sizes you don't know your mom's sizes do you know your mom's sizes? of course i know my mom's what's your mom's sizes. Uh, well, i'm not going to give them out on the podcast pants size? i'm not going to give that on the podcast that's my mom wouldn't appreciate that I but i do you know you <laughs> <laughs> um i'm sorry I like what <laughs> matt's like no. do i do i move on from this i was like does he let it slide what a like you slip like, yeah i would shut up i always said like i would only ever get a tattoo if it was like like someone close to me also had a tattoo and like, you know, or maybe they passed away or something, mm -hmm. you know, something really deep and meaningful. Yeah. Or, you know, with what I currently do, memes and all that shit, you know, if five years down the line, cause you know, it's so volatile, if like, it's still going, things are still strong, then maybe I get like a small like duck silhouette or some shit. Yeah. Oh Just yeah. Because like, you know, it's changed my entire life, but I feel like now is it a little too soon yeah Baby yeah because there's a point when it's fair, like in in like in a like looking back and there's a yeah. point where it's almost like ego boosting where it's like yeah. this is my youtube channel logo oh yeah you know? i definitely wouldn't want like it to be you know to be flexing get, like right anything. here get your profile picture like right on the side of your neck oh it would literally just be like maybe like a, a rubber duck you know like a that's cute duck i like silhouette. that so at least i guess if you got even if i got it now it wouldn't be like regretful because oh like, totally like a giant back tether I think I've talked about this on cold ones actually, but you know, you might release this before that episode comes out. Oh, is that not out yet? 
No, I think. Well, they this isn't right. coming out till next, next week. Friday. Friday. Into it, I think. Uh-huh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Take that, Max and Chad. Fuck you. We've been directly competing with them uh, for some time. They've always been jealous at uh, the the massive views we are able to. They said Super Mega. What a good name for a YouTube get? channel. Hey, oh my God, we get upwards of forty thousand. <laughs> no, we we get I don't know. podcasts usually like first few days what over a hundred thousand. Mm, you're being very gen- generous. Matthew. Look at no, watch it. It does like within the first two days. Two I know, I know, I know. You think Pepsi and Coca Cola are watching, and you're like, no, we get now we get millions, millions of views on the each first podcast. day. Do they get good legacy views? Yeah, like the, they, the the legacy views I think is where the podcast does well. It's yeah. not the initial week or even two weeks really. Because people like podcast it drops, they're not going to watch it right away. It's like an hour. 40 minutes or something. Oh, so yeah. they'll be like, oh, I'll watch so this like tonight that. or like yeah. on the weekend. So then the views and then people just go through the playlist and then that comes up like way later, like years later. But uh, yeah, how is it? How is it like making memes as your as your career now? I don't, I don't know how to answer it. It's a pretty big question. <laughs> like pretty big. Like how? What do you what do you mean? Like, like what does it mean to you? What is that's what, even <laughs> what, what does, <laughs> what does making question. memes mean to you I don't as know, a career? It's like, it's obviously, I guess, just having the fact that I make money through the internet. It's pretty, pretty cool, awesome. yeah. So you're just in it for the money. Yeah, okay. okay. You guys heard it here oh, first, okay. right? Dolan Dark, ingenuine, okay. only cares about the it. money. First thing he says is money. I, sl- I sit with your mom. I right? see those those dollar signs it, right? in his eyes. He's only, he guys, he doesn't actually <laughs> like Minecraft. You know what? Big shocker. Yeah, I actually despise memes. Like, I've hated them for months. No, um, it's just like, I guess it's, it's a new wave thing, right? You know, like, my parents still kind of obviously understand it to a degree because i've explained that. I, th- I think most like if if you're in this line of work the parents will be like they have a fan base that likes what they do and that's yeah. probably what they see they make they videos still, and people like, like and it say with extended family you know it's like yeah yeah what do you do and they, you're like they, uh you know they could think whatever i say i do is actually a front for you know i'm actually a, you know i could technically be a drug dealer and be like no i make memes <laughs> on the internet for money you know sort of thing like that's gonna be the new front for things is like just just, just funneling an, fake views into something, funneling fake views into like a YouTube channel, and then the money that they launder through it, they're like, oh, I got this from the YouTube channel, but it was actually from like being a drug mule or you know yeah. selling selling drugs. Yeah, yeah. Could be a good idea. pretty crazy, dude. <laughs> That's not what we are. Yeah, of course not. Uh, we want to get that clear. Written That's not what Dolan is either. <laughs> signed and stamped. But yeah, it's weird in the sense that like I thought occasionally like. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, <laughs> I'm a, What's that? Nothing. Something secret? It was just a gun. <laughs> she pulls out a gun. Sorry. I just start holding it. Um, what was I She's saying? a beauty, isn't she? Sorry, we did not mean to derail you. Um, oh, like thinking, okay, in five years, would I still enjoy making memes sort of thing? Well, you know, can I see myself being 30 years old and still making memes? It's I, kind of weird. I love how about. usually it's like you'd think of a guy at a cubicle. It's like... Where will I be in five years? Will I still yeah. be at this? But desk? like your in in your world, I it's want to be wi- there in five you're years, like, right? where will I wh- where will I be making memes in five yeah. years? Will I still will enjoy I be the in memes? The <laughs> yeah, you might but have a fucking luxury mansion like, from all these memes. You know, you can think because you know what you don't want is to be one of those like hello fellow kids sort of things. So I'm wondering, you know, would you ever get too old where you're out of touch with what's popular, and then what you're making? You don't enjoy. You're just doing it to fit in. I would not want to like become that. Like I would stop if that's what I ended up. Are there older people that you guys know of in, that you guys know of See, in the community that are self aware of it and so kind of make their I own? That's what I think of as PewDiePie is a good example because he's almost he's either thirty or turning thirty, and obviously he's still going really really strong and like. I, I don't really think of him as like old or out of touch sort of mm-hmm. thing. So yeah, well I mean I think I think it depends on like for instance with Felix he like his life is that pretty much yeah. so like that's his that's his like livelihood so he's always on the internet and he's always seeing the new shit yeah, I'm just i think you'd be out of touch if you i don't think it has to do with age i think it just has to do with how much you're like exposed to it and well, like I growing up feel through like it. being older does put some people off but then again like you know say pewdiepie in 10 years would he still be doing it and would people still be watching like a 40 year old man Making I wonder due that. to due to your age, I feel like you do have to con you have to change. I mean, look at he changed when we're, he got yeah. older, so I, still, you just have you know, to. We're still in like adapt a new generation of this shit. Like we don't really because you know YouTube's only been around just over a decade, 10 years yeah. now. So it's like a whole other dick. You know, everything is new. We're finding out what's gonna happen. Yeah, it comes. it's freaky because I'm like, 
oh man, I don't know what we're going to be doing in five years, let alone two months. So oh, no, it's yeah. like, I, it's, 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 well, it is it's two scary. months, hopefully we haven't gone out of business. Hopefully the office is all established. We put furniture in there, recording studio. We haven't bankrupted ourselves. Then, you know, his people watch Keemstar and he's like, you know, he's may as well be 40. He's like 36 or something. Yeah, he's a kid and everything. Is he with it? I don't, I don't really keep track of him. Well, he's kind of like, he's out of touch. But in touch at the same time because you know he obviously uses his job. He's good with riling things up. He's good with. But just... then obviously he's got a lot of like boomer humor. <laughs> if you could coin it that, you know. Yeah, I mean, look like... at his Twitter. Yeah, it's like very like. Oh yeah. It's very hood. This dude's definitely almost. <laughs> I, I have to bring it up every time. I still think one of the funniest things I've seen is the guy that looks exactly like uh, Team Star. <laughs> on the train. Track? Oh, no, the train there's the one tracks? on the train tracks, and there's the one on the like on the side on the of the car, road like, on the yeah, car. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I, I love that. Dude. I saw that one day on it's Twitter, and it was like, funny. "Damn, Keemstar snapped with this." It's because it's so silent, and then the guy just like looks at, like everything about it—the timing, I the saw, way it's filmed—it's just I perfect. I think Max posted it, and it was the level one, level ninety-nine. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's it like it, it, that when he was doing his like very infamous rant video about yeah. Alex, and then like right before he says it, it cuts. He's just like, <laughs> the, yeah. like with like the, the distorted I'm bass and like sure, level one hundred. I'm boss. fairly sure Max must have got a block for that one. I just heard through like the grapevine that Keem hated that video. Yo, he, I saw he was blocking people that were tweeting it at him. Yeah. They were like, "Hey, Keem, is this you?" He's blocking does, people. Does do you have you talked with Keem's the Keem star before? Yeah, I'm probably gonna get hate because whenever I've been on Reddit and Keem says mentioned, people just hate him, like hate him completely. But you know, Reddit's kind of like. I yeah. think a lot of people hate Keem star. Yeah, of yeah. course. I like I mean, I, these people are very entertained by. Fair him. enough, but I I don't. I used to I used to despise him when. Because I used to meme the shit. I mean, I still meme him quite often, you know. Dude, that there is one. There's that legendary one where you responded to his tweet and you were like something about like how you're like this tweet will get more likes than your original oh, tweet. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then it, it like tripled he, um, it or something. He tweeted something like I can't remember the context, but he was saying something. He was insulting me and he was like, Oh yeah, because you guys had that I war could, for a while. I could tweet about PewDiePie picking his nose, and they would care more about that than if Donald Duck was hit by a car and died. You know, because he's a, I, saying, like, it was... He's like, like more people would care that I said this. Yeah. 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 And then I was like, well, if I'm so irrelevant, why does my reply have more likes than yours? That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. had, like, it was three like, to four was times the likes. Gamble. I was like, okay, I'm going to come back in like three that, hours. That, that <laughs> was, how do you gamble like that? Because like, he would have destroyed you was, after that. It was like, well, because pe- people... So I, all, all I knew is a lot of people followed Keemstar, but a lot of people didn't like him. And I was like... I knew I had a decent loyal fan base. I was like, come on, come on. <laughs> and they come did, and this they was, did. This must have been 2017, but yeah, it was funny. I come back, um, yeah, like two hours later, and it had like the same amount of likes, and then it, I think, yeah, it tripled it or some shit. It was just so funny just to... Oh, I really want to find this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. You gotta, la- you gotta laugh at it one more time. Did you know that... Because he's coining it, he's, he's cashing it on it now, but the you know the whole lawn gnome meme? Yeah. That was me that started. Didn't he not like thing. it? Didn't the, it the legit meme? Did it like, so you know how everyone calls him a lawn gnome now? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like I was legit the first You started the gnome thing? And started it. He's got and some then, wow, that's And then um Ian obviously popularized it. Right. I right. know because he like literally put him as a gnome in yeah, the gnome content. And, content and, content and then yeah. the other one was I think a lot of people would call him a rat, and that was that was Colossal is crazy. That started the rat insult because you know he gets called a rat gnome a lot. As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a lot of pictures where he's so beautiful. It's so do beautiful. You, do you ever have stuff come up on screen on the podcast at all? Yeah, we can. Uh, we'll throw it up right here. Yeah, make sure the <laughs> screenshot. There it is. Add a sound. It's a good winning moment. Yeah, put put a little trumpet. That was for 2016. Him. Holy dude! Sh- I know. I look at things. I'm like, boomer. fuck. That was, that was long. That was a long time ago. That's crazy. It seems like for some reason, like life really sped up. In 2015 and 16, like, or I, I it just kind Is of it, like went. Was it when it's, we? It's after I moved here. Specifically, got into more internet related content as well. I think I so. Feel like the days blend into. Oh, they do. When you don't have like a conventional I job, guess like maybe not as much of you guys, but because like a lot of the times I'll just be sitting in my house doing nothing, waking up at dumb out. You know, wake up at like midday. Dude, you you guys are obviously more productive. So like when you're waking up late. The the notice how we stayed completely. silent to yeah. make sh- we were just, like yeah dude we are well, you know, like productive <laughs> we'll, we'll take these compliments thanks to comparison to me that's like sleeping into like you know two, two yeah who sleeps until two Matt I don't know like Dolan does <laughs> <laughs> y'all sleep until like just, five or six sometimes up p.m. yeah what time would you have gone to bed real late though so? no dude there's legit times I'll go to bed at like ten and wake Matt, up at six you, you will go to bed at ten wake up at like noon or one 
How? Stay up for two hours. Take like a four hour yeah, nap. Yeah, yeah, I legit do that. <laughs> you sleep for 14 hours. I might have cancer. You sleep most of the time. It does sound Like bad. that sounds like there's something horribly wrong. I, most like, people sleep most of the time, of course. I have a real fucky one at the moment where... So my normal schedule is like... Because obviously I always usually have to post for like American time too. Mm-hmm. So like 5 a.m. my time is like 10 a.m. ish onwards. Uh, 10 a.m. LA time. Because you guys are like a whole day behind. Yeah. But so I normally have to stay Just up. Just rubbing like in, four, dude. <laughs> it's a whole day behind. I'm in the future. Um, I usually have to stay up to like four or five a.m. Finishing the meme and posting it at that time to hit like the perfect hour when like people are waking up and then it will. You know, yes, new yeah. dollar dark so, really, so there really is like something to do with dropping something at a specific time. Yeah, and then occasionally it'll be like. What did you so, find the best time is? It's it's roughly five a.m. my time. Okay, so, so um, ten a.m. is the, like the, there, there's like a website that'll show you. It's it's five to like nine a.m. my time. You know, there's there's probably an exact hour. I know PewDiePie posts at like three a.m. my time, but he's PewDiePie. So yeah, he can do whatever he wants. He can do whatever he wants. But like it's 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 in that awkward area where I'm definitely not gonna wake up at five a.m. that early. But I oh, fuck that. <laughs> I'm also like staying up to five six a.m. is also like. It we bit. used to do that a lot to edit and make videos and shit. We'd be up until yeah. like seven and then sleep until. I mean, like you know four. me. I'm 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 a night owl, so I'm usually up. Not not as late <laughs> these days because I'm still like getting my sleep schedule back on track. I like I, that. I'm I'm I, can, I can call you at four a.m. and I'm like, there's no way he's gonna. Oh yeah, he will. And then it's like you're like, hello. I mean, <laughs> I know. It's like a hey, media answer. You're like, hey, dude. Whereas if you call me during the day, you get, hey, what's up, dude? It's like okay. a very low energy during the day. But the night's like, say, hey, dude, you want to talk about something? <laughs> But like, uh, <laughs> fuck, man. I um, yeah. I'm, can I? Go, I'm gonna go grab a drink. Sorry. Is that I'm, what you were gonna say? No, I'm just real high, real quick. Well, you you, le- you left us on Wait, a, you, you left us on a cliffhanger. What, what, did what you did actually you? have something to bring up? I did. did and you, then I lost the train of thought again. What you were fit. What did you, he hit before? Marijuana. Marijuana. Ah, oh, was it? You can actually do it like that. Oh. Yeah. I just assumed it was a jewel or whatever. It looks oh. Like a jewel. Do you smoke marijuana? Um. <laughs> it's just on record. No. <laughs> oh wait, it's legal here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm more like, what do you call it? Like a social smoker. Well, okay. I mean, I don't smoke cigarettes, but like, you know, if if the if it's there and it's offered, I'll do it. You know, I, okay. I guess it's kind of freeloading in a sense, but you know, like I'll, I've never gone out my way to buy it. Okay. Because I also don't. What is it in New Zealand? Super illegal, right? Not super illegal, but not, Australia. It's, it's not it's, like it's, Japan illegal. It's becoming like it's gonna become legal soon i think they're doing a referendum or something for yeah, it oh, cool soon but <laughs> nice um nice. i can't remember the exact <laughs> thing it's count counted as but it's not very it's like class c drug so like if you have a small amount on you you probably wouldn't they might even let you off sort it's of thing. it's like a class one isn't it here not anymore well not in california not in california Wait, do they, do but they put it in the same category as like meth and heroin or yes they used to, they used to uh, or depending on the area just, it's a political thing it's, it's all about like money and shit okay yeah, liberal America's, okay, t- <laughs> okay look <done. laughs> but yeah America's so like yeah just interesting to say the least yeah it, 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 it's a weird country it's weird it's a, it's a goofy fucking country okay I always, cool, like, but... I always like asking people who are from different countries this and this is not to derive any hate on the man directly, but it's just fun to see what a, what another's perspective is. Watching our election process and Trump being elected, what is it? What does it look like from your side of the world? Like, what does like if if you if you were if you saw that in America? Because like I can look at other like foreign nations and be like, oh, that was weird when something yeah. happens over there. He's but, baiting you, Dolan. He's gonna call you a libtard. Yeah. No matter which way you respond. Here we go. <laughs> oh God. Oh fuck. Um, Was it just like, oh, that's that's crazy. Those darn Americans. Did you? But didn't you think the same thing when he actually started getting? Yeah. I. I yeah. Absolutely. We're just. I wonder what like how what it looks like to the outside world because it's like. From what I can tell is is. It's the new norm now here. I so the majority like, would think he's a moron. Yeah. And was just like, what the hell. I've asked people in other countries before, and almost unanimously, they think it, it's uh, it's goofy. I mean, like it just it, like regardless if you like him or not, you, you it's I goofy. I, I would love to see a television yeah, star I, I that goofy rise to power somewhere. Like for me to like visualize I that. I don't really follow him enough, but like I I genuinely think he's a moron. But like I didn't really care if he won against. Hillary. I wanted him to win because I didn't like Hillary, and I thought it was funny. Here we go. 
Get ready, boys. Dolan Dark Party. We can't be friends right? with you anymore since you said that. I, <laughs> by the way, I only wanted to win because I knew the memes. The memes were the selling point. But like, you got to remember, I this think, is, well, this, he said he only cares country. about the money. This, this is his. This man's, is the point no, in the podcast where we have to remind people he lives shit. in a different country too. Yeah. Because people are like, your vote matters. Then it's like, oh, yeah. wait a second. Well, that's the thing. It's like when I was. It was funny to you. When I was, yeah, when I was memeing <laughs> Trump, people were like, you're just mad Hillary didn't win Libtad. I was like, I didn't want her to win. You know, like, <laughs> I don't care, man. Like, leave me alone. But it was, yeah. I My thoughts were just like, I wanted to win because it was funny. Do, like, do, like you have to, do you have to stop making memes of him at a certain extent? Because every, like, the. Oh, when well, you find, like, the whole. The whole comic. Like, the whole comedy spectrum. Oh, yeah. Every time we bring up Donald Trump, just, there's people that I get. I just avoid politics. Like, if I meme Donald Trump, usually it's not really at his expense. Maybe I'll meme, like, you know how he's. He'll you know, just make like pro Trump ads. Well, you, know, <laughs> you know, he had all those like sound bites he was popular for. Yeah. Like, I, I would mean them, but I wouldn't give a political stance. You know, my, like, he, there was that one meme where he holds up that. Oh, the, yeah, the, the well, signature. Them, actually. Had, I made one where it was like, <laughs> um, it's now it's now legal to kiss your homies, and then like him and Kim Jong Un <laughs> <laughs> go off into the back with like love music playing. Like, I you love know, that shit. It's usually like the harmless shit that. The only hate would get is if like some real niche, like far right people found that was just like, why are you saying he's yeah? I like I like to imagine that like, be, so he can like profit off the memes. He becomes he like really starts pushing Trump twenty twenty on his Twitter. I mean Dolan <laughs> becomes like huge like political figure, just like this Dolan huge. Trump? I mean you would love another four years of it, wouldn't you? I'm announcing Dolan Dark as my VP. Be fun for you guys. I mean, if your country goes on flames, as long as I'm getting meme out of it, I don't. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, if we can meme it and make fun, yeah, it gives us stuff to talk down, about on the podcast. You know. Yeah, that's my Trump perspective. Tw- Trump 2020. Yeah, let's, well, why not, guys? <laughs> yeah. I'm making Mike Pence's ad. Dolan Dark is my new vice president. He makes the Do best you think memes. Get another. T- yeah. Dinner? Oh, I think I I I, I don't want to say I'm 100 percent certain, but I am more than not certain that he is going to win another four years because yeah, right now, that's because he took at, all the fucking so business you, money you, and you, donated you it you look at cut all this shit out of the podcast like political stuff no no we keep avoid, it in avoid, yeah avoid unless if there's anything okay. you don't want in that you've yeah. said just let us know and we'll oh, get no, it's all good. okay yeah. but um uh 2020 <laughs> trump winning again yeah why you think it's gonna happen Okay. Oh, uh, i was on reddit and like there are a lot of people that are pointing out polls of how all these democratic nominees or supposed to be in the future nominees, I guess, um, are gaining more traction than him in all the states that he won or flipped, and like those are just going to flip back or whatever. And all these they always flip all the all these polls. They're like, look at this, and it's on r slash politics, I think, because I was searching popular and it was Wait, like so that, looking that at he's stuff. Saying that is proof that he's not going to get it. No, no, I'm I'm just saying I'm People just I'm just saying over, that like, put too much confidence I in the polls that, and then not go out and vote. Exactly, it was this poll thing that was like. Hillary has a 97% chance of... No, yep. on election yep. day. I remember I woke up on like, election day. That's something? what I'm talking about. People are falling into the same trap as they did the last but time of like need to, trying to like believe that this stuff is going to happen. We're just like, no, like, let's I, be honest. I genuinely believed he would not win. I did too. Well. On election morning, I was like, I, I remember I said I was like, I'm pretty like, I'm like 90% sure Hillary I went will out win. for dinner and came back and it was just like a whole different vibe in the apartment. We're That's like, crazy. so he's going to represent us, right? Like, yep. This, so Donald Trump means, is going dude. to represent our country <laughs> as a whole. Because yep. like even like back then, he's just like the, the goofy businessman guy. It's like he really? still is the goofy businessman guy. No, he's your president, Ryan. Right? <laughs> yeah, give a little more respect. <laughs> Secret Service bust down your door. <laughs> I don't know if they care anymore. <laughs> Let's say some really illegal shit about the president. All right, see if they actually respond Poland? to it. All right, so make some kind of threat against the president. Uh, I don't. Really, I feel like your video get taken. Whether for his life or his do his, his life, yeah. And you're a foreigner too, or his so family's. They life. they don't care if you're a foreigner. His family's life. I'll get stopped at the border. Like we heard this were, really funny <laughs> podcast. Even released the podcast. The so Secret Service like, is like enjoying it with like their yeah, fucking AirPods like, listening yeah. in. They're like, damn, this is a funny pod. Oh wait a second, he it's, just said that bad thing. <laughs> or it's like that. That's like we heard what you said in the podcast. On I'm like, that hasn't even aired yet. And they're just like, fuck, he's on to us. <laughs> they're, they're like, they're in the other room with headphones. Like, this is good. This is good shit. So uh, we we just actually all finished E3 at the time of recording this. What uh, what, what was everybody's favorite part of E3? Besides, of course, you know, getting to play those games by Ubisoft. But what was the other? What was your all other right. favorite? Uh, literally, the only game I cared about was Crash Team Racing. Did you ever play that as a kid? Oh yeah, no, yeah. I didn't. It was. It was I didn't. 
Well, I Sorry. did. Well, I did, okay? Oh, well. What you gonna Stop. do about Mario it? Just knock Kart it off. Person? Uh, or you just went into the uh, I, I just never, I didn't even know the game existed at okay, the time when I was younger. Enough. Yeah, basically it My was friend like gave it to me. a childhood game that like I still played with friends occasionally. You know, PS1, like 20 years old, mm-hmm. but I'd still play it with friends. Like, oh, I didn't have a PS, I had a PlayStation 2. Was I did first. Oh, that was my console. first console okay. too, but we were like, PS, let's get all the PS1 games because PS2 are too expensive. But yeah, I literally just played that twice and that was the only game I played because the lines weren't that big and then I wasn't going to wait three hours to play Pokemon Sword and Shield god that line was insane it was that like, and the Luigi's Mansion 3 line I wanted to do both those things See, but I, I like, wanted to do Luigi's Mansion because the actual did you did you sit in that line no because okay. they like built a mansion the in actual, E3 yeah the, the actual mansion looked amazing did you happen to watch the direct yeah yeah, thing yeah. afterwards with the people that went inside and they were no I didn't awkward. see that no uh Basically, it was like I a, love Nintendo shit though. When it was, they're that awkward, there was it's a fun. girl and a guy that were like walking through the Nintendo mansion, like you know, trying to sell it to people. But it was just like them. They had, oh, you're talking about the ad where it's like it's it's the couple that goes into the mansion. No, it was like um, or was it a live? Like, it was a live. It was like the okay. Treehouse. I thought you were talking treehouse about the awkward girl, ad because yeah. the ad was also awkward. Uh, the whole direct was awkward. They're always awkward. Where it's just like, but it's well, like it's usually like awkward, but like. In a cute way. Charmingly sort of awkward. Charming, yeah, you know, like the ba- the Doug Bowser, Bowser thing. Yeah. You know, that was like... Like, that was bad, but it was like, ah, it's yeah, Nintendo, it's, 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 it's Nintendo, cute. Yeah, you know, they, they you know, they, they had the best E3 sort of thing. Yeah, like, he's like, oh, well, I thought, fine. I bet you were confused by the Duck Hunt silhouette. It's like, <laughs> it's I so thought that, I thought that was pretty funny, though. Yeah. Not the actual him saying that. I, I thought him actual, saying that was hysterical. I actually laughed myself to sleep. When they... The banjo reveal with the fucking duck. I like that. Could you imagine if they actually did that and didn't put banjo was, in the game? Yeah, I was like, I was hoping they did that. Just the ultimate fuck you. I would have fucking loved. When's that. Master Chief coming to Smash? That's all Minecraft I'm, Steve coming to Smash? I want to crush Bandicoot and Smash. <laughs> See, you you have you don't realize this. You have influence over these things. If you make Minecraft Steve like getting Isn't to Smash, actually like a minor possibility that yeah, but but that's why oh, we yeah. need you to like help promote. Imagine that. Like, because the cool then they'll see. Oh, you people want to perform as Minecraft Steve. The reveal. I was. I did ironically have this meme idea you know the when it jumps down and then it's revealed that it was the fucking duck hunt dog yeah yeah. i was like how can i make minecraft steve into that exact same shape (laughs) and then have him like fold out you know so it's actually him and smash but the problem is is i'm on a shitty laptop so i can't edit that and by the time i get home i feel like the memes probably you know it's oh yeah it's already been almost a week and then I obviously posted like a year, and it was like a, like a refresh. It's like, oh, this is now it has a second layer of funniness because it's so old. Yeah, see, maybe marketing one on one, baby. That's what we that's do, right? Not, to be fair, that actually does actually how memes work to an extent. Like, if you're like two weeks after it's died down, it's old. But if you do it in like a few months, it's like so old that it's given new life. My name is Jeff. Oh, well, that's that's its own. Yeah, that's that that that's, that's actually like, that's a bad example. That's I'm like sorry. A, that's in its own. It's a false glass equivalent. Case. It's like the god of yeah. memes. Like, I mean, there's other ones on the side. There's there's these nuts. There's Dan Daniel. There's twenty one. All the basically all the memes that were never funny, and then they came back ironically funny. Like those Ooh. are the the those are the ones that stay around the most. Because you know you go to Knuckles, people brought back ironically but it was kind of funny when it first came out so it doesn't have that i remember uh, legitimately laughing at one of the videos yeah no it was funny all right racist just just picturing all of these because what i would do is when i when i when i look at something i picture the reality of it and so the reality is there are like a bunch of grown men and children all sitting in a chair awkwardly with the five controllers standing around in yeah. like a silent room with that like goofy foot, helmet on. And then there's one foot tall fucking <laughs> little like knuckles Ray character. Thingy, yeah. And they all come together as a hive mind to uh to just to troll to people. sexually extort females in the gaming place. That's just what being a game is all about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did I, earlier did I hear you say the actually unfunny memes become ironically funny when referring to like my name Jeff and twenty one and shit? Yeah. You don't think those are funny? So you don't think those are actually funny? When you, like when they first came again, out. He, he's proving that that he only cares about the money. He doesn't think they're funny at all. <laughs> I think it's all a big okay, gotcha podcast. The first time I saw these nuts, stop gaslighting me. I'm man. sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. See, can you see that why people would call him a sociopath? I mean, he is. Yeah, you heard it from the man himself. You heard it from the duck. He's he he he's hold his words hold a lot of weight. Matt, you as a sociopath is loving this because you're like, as long as I make sure that people think yeah, it's I'd a be joke like, and start making it a joke, people will never actually feed into it. A yeah. I was gonna mention that earlier with, about the armchair psychologist, but obviously I forgot because 
you know we're all ripped out of we feel yeah so. but what i what i like the most is when i don't know if you've seen it but like say there's like a <clears throat> like an interaction between a guy and a girl on like a twitch stream or something mm-hmm. and then the whole chat's just like cringe that was cringe that was you know like it's all these guys who are trying to like hyper analyze the situation and then you're watching it and they're like it's literally just a conversation with some mild flirting yeah and all these gamer guys are like that's cringe you know like because they have they'll no... posted the r cringe too and then people are like yeah. what are you talking about that yeah. was just two they people have, talking no... i don't think they a lot of them understand although, how interactions although would work like there was that. this one i saw where it was this i uh, saw it too girl s- streaming and this guy he was hell bent on just kind of like Basically, there was a bet they had where, like, if he won the game, she would have sex with him. But then she backed out of it, and he's just like, "Come on, I haven't, this is on I haven't had sex in so really? long." Was this on Twitch? And shit like that, yeah. Was it recent? I haven't actually seen it. It was on. It was on our cringe probably about two weeks, three weeks ago. Basically, he was he was a very horny young man who claimed to have not had sex in a long time. And he's like, you always do this. Why would you do that? Oh, like, there's like a history of it. It's like, you always yeah. say you're going to have sex with me and you don't. <laughs> you always don't have sex with me. <laughs> you're always <laughs> not having sex with me. <laughs> the hell? What's up with that? <laughs> Jerry's. <It's> my, <laughs> with his 17 year old Talking to his 17 year old girlfriend. You're not having sex with me. Jerry, that's illegal. Uh, but, yeah, but not still. Not in the state of Alabama. <laughs> it's 14. <laughs> Good old Jerry. Uh, Jerry's not. Is he still fourteen in Alabama? Yeah. Why would you be surprised? God bless, man. God bless God's favorite state of Alabama. <laughs> if you're in Alabama hey, listening man. to this, I Mary apologize. was probably fourteen. Wasn't Mary she? was fourteen. That's probably that's why it, it has a it has Are biblical you context. About Mary? The, yeah. Yes. So she's not a well. Mm, yeah, okay. She remained well, a virgin. Maybe, I guess. Maybe the whole thing was you know Alabama's known for their incest. I think it's both those things, right? Yeah. Maybe, Alabama is yeah, definitely maybe it was a big cover up because it was relative, you know. I asked uh, two people once <laughs> that were a couple. I, uh, I, I was in a very southern state, and I said, "Ha, are you guys cousins?" Turned out they uh, were cousins. They were first cousins or second cousins. Second cousins, it's right? Cousins okay, where it's like almost removed enough, where it's like, yeah, it still, it still isn't. Like, it's still something you shouldn't probably t- be proud of. I, I just wouldn't tell people. I think when it's like third or fourth cousins is when there's almost so little connection because you know you're right connected to so many people I love right it, but at the but same you're time still dating and kissing and if, 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 cousin. if cousin is in the name even if it's just a little bit it's like yeah, it's just it's yeah. you know it's fucking like fucking my fourth cousin like even though that's so far removed you still yeah, say cousin the fact that cousin's in there knowingly have the yeah. There, there's like a there's a little wall you gotta jump over to get to that point y- y'all would both show up to the same family reunion potentially exactly I mean you'd bring well, the kids how they met, you know that's how a lot of people meet in Alabama <laughs> <laughs> what? It probably is. Yeah, I mean that's not. I read. I read I, something recently. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're fine. It was like I think it was one of those. You know, people always do confessions and shit on Reddit. It was something like these people had just moved in, and their parents were finally going to meet each other, and then it turned out they were they were cousins, and they had like just got married. Like, what would you do in that situation when you've been with someone for like three years? You know, doing everything you do in a relationship and then you find uh, out does it make it hotter <laughs> depends on the person but for me personally yes but you know like what would you do like you you love this person and you're like ready to start a life with him and then it's like by the way your cousin i might just have to wait wait when you say cousin, how cousins are we talking a cousin like, is a cousin that's cousin. true i know i that, that's like, what i just said mean? yeah sorry but, like would they slide it <laughs> matt's really trying to be like now what okay. is a cousin <laughs> you know define the word cousin who knows what cousin. a cousin really is you know? cousin nouns <laughs> a cousin's just a construct you know it's that's nothing more than a that. social, it's a social construct. Yeah, that's created, what a cousin is. And created created by those that uh, deem us unworthy. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with cousin fucking. You're not brother and sister. It's okay. And even if you are brother and sister, it's not the biggest deal. You may share a little bit of blood, but come on. <laughs> you can share a uh, passionate night, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Put her there. Put that fist there. Yeah. Come on. Sorry, Don't I touched I'm you a little not, bit. Did I'm I... not fisting you for that one. You're not going to blow fist me? Maybe related, you know. Yeah, if we were if we were if we were cousins, then maybe a little, a little bit of that. Um, but damn, I don't know. I, what would you do in this situation? Yeah, I want to know what you would do. I, if you if you I, both I, were I, in I, love with each other, you're he's in blushing. love with this person. What if he's bringing this up because like this this is this, actually, this is him. This he is was actually, the poster yeah, of that. This is one of those things where I my friend is wondering when it's really. Me. Yeah, you're like my so my friend apparently got married to his cousin, and uh, yeah. So what my, would you guys do? So my friend started uh, sexting with his mother and. Um, uh, 
what do you what, think what, about what, 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 what advice would you guys give yeah <laughs> to get more <laughs> to get more photos because because apparently the mom's a fucking bitch and doesn't want to talk late at night game of thrones? sorry what did you guys watch game of thrones i did not oh. i did you I, I feel like you're you're big big telling me right here no no I, I did big I, time I, i'm actually i'm going there as a phrase i'm like, i'm re-watching it a second time to go how did it go so wrong go so fucking I, horribly i was just gonna mention like some spoilers for Game of Thrones ahead. Fast forward to this time code to not get spoiled. The whole cousin thing, you could be like, well, Targaryens did it. Yeah, Targa you know? Targaryens did it, Lannisters yeah. did it. Someone is out there justifying it with that. They may that. be fictional characters, but Targaryens did it. We can do it. Exactly. And they were the holy family. They were the protectors of the realm for a long-standing few generations. And then came uh, technically the Baratheons, but everyone knows it's Lannister blood. Yeah. Okay. Everyone knows, man. Come on, I, Matt. I, I no, I just forgot. I knew it. Sorry for spoiling. I, I, I who cares? It, it's a uh, watch this podcast. Like <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. It's a horrible. Yeah. Like honestly, I Bent think to the ground. It was a like I'm 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 on season five right now. I'm like it's still going. Yeah, so fairly strong. Season first, oh, four seasons were amazing. Five to six were like good. I know, still really great, but there were some weak storylines. Mm -hmm. Seven was like kind of shitting the bed, but. It was the, like, it the, where they go, the episode where they go over the wall is where I finally was like, this is too stupid. See, I still, I still liked the interactions. The whole thing that happened was dumb, but I was like, eh, maybe, the, you know, maybe the final season will justify this. Yeah. The interactions, character interactions are still good. And then the sixth season, eighth season was just like, shit everywhere. Horrible. <laughs> the last, the, like, the last two episodes are the worst episodes in Game of Thrones. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> like, I, I will stand Damn, behind that. Right? The last two episodes are the worst episodes in all of Have the eight seen seasons. The IMDb ratings? It's yeah, it's horrible. For the first seven seasons, they're all like above around nine. And then, first three episodes of. They got pretty good reviews. The second episode got pretty good reviews in the first and one. The second season was. Second episode was probably one of the better ones. But then they undid every. I mean, uh, even then. Like, three the still got a lot of good critical. It was uh, still a good reviews enjoyable like action wise but then once Critic it reviews. ended you're like wait a minute that's you know who cares about the rest and then the score just goes <laughs> yep. straight down to like 4.2 holy shit yeah. Th think about this that's you have wild you have a story where okay think about so you have your beginning and then your middle and then your end Oh really? It's like, it's like I, I was for those who were on the podcast. I was showing like kind of like the beginning was long and oh, right. I was showing the size. It was like very fleshed out, and the middle was also very fleshed out, and even more so because it's setting up the resolution, which and is the answer to all of these like, things. With the and ending. then the ending, they crunched it down to what apparently should have been at the at the at least, least ten seasons. Yeah, I think. And then at most thirteen seasons. Fuck, and they did so they they crammed it I, all into seven and eight which are each only and six episodes six and seven episodes i felt like if they'd made those two seasons 10 episodes and done another 10 season 10 episode season i feel like they could have done a way better job even with nine yeah they could they could have done a, a a much better job and at least a good conclusion i still wish they had they just went to 10 seasons yeah because like th there's a lot like for for example that it's gonna sound weird when i explain it like this matt because you're gonna be like oh they crammed that much in the last episode should have been a whole season holy right, shit you, you know what show which i love i wish that the final season of breaking bad it had maybe like two more episodes towards the end yeah because i, I feel like that was a perfect show it's no no it is no, it's, it's perfect I love like breaking it's my, bad it's are you watching better call Saul at all yeah oh, it's so do, good. do you it's like just, it Oh, definitely. It's a slow burner. It's yeah. super slow, and but it's like, so good. It's one of those things that not everyone's going to get into, but like if you enjoyed Breaking Bad, I love it. Yeah, go, yeah. But like I, I have the barrel collector's edition thing. A Breaking yeah. Bad. Yeah, Breaking I I just Bad wish is they just like the perfect ten. Like it's so yeah. good. Is, is that your favorite show of all time? Yeah, probably that or Malcolm yeah. in the Middle. And I, I honestly would have said though that if Game of Thrones ended strongly, that would have okay. competed with Breaking See, Bad was, for me. Right, game. My ratings used to be. I think Game of Thrones I put as a ten, Breaking Bad as a nine, but that's just because I was still like, yeah, like the action a lot more. And then I think when it was season six, they did some stupid shit of Arya. And Game of Thrones, I was like, uh, season five is the start of that stupid shit. Season six like, is where they. I was like, I can't ju justify giving it a ten. I was like, dropped it to a nine. Then I rewatched Breaking Bad. I was like, that was the most perfect. Finale. It's so fucking good. If you sit down and watch it all, you could have ever. Dude, I was like, 
such a good finale. And the, the, the episode before the finale is like the best episode of. Oh, it's so Ozzy fucking Mandus. good. Yeah, Ozzy yeah, Mandy. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows the name. That's how yeah, good it is. That's yeah. how good it is. It's, it's the highest rated episode of television in history, I think. Yeah. Right? I actually, what I wish, the only reason I wish it had two like two more episodes was i don't want to spoil anything for him but like towards the end when it shows seen it by now. yeah it's when it shows him in like his final finish. phase where, where he's like on the run and everything that just felt so kind of like quick that i wish we could have just seen oh, more he, where he it's like in two the beard. episodes he, he grows a beard is up in the snow oh, has to go back in, down uh, i wish yeah. we could have seen more of that because that's Th- what i that really wanted been to probably see. A, around guess. half a season i think yeah that would have been I incredible i think it would have made the ending feel a little more deserved it already felt so deserved i only wish they did that so i could see more too drag out because like there was only so much he could do i guess showing his day to day but even then i feel like i feel like two episodes maybe would have been perfect i don't think a you know a whole extra more i feel like would have gone too boring to watch like him being they'd have to definitely add some i guess i was more with anything i was more interested in that phase of him that f- me yeah, too that and we, ba- we didn't really get to his, see like, that's it. his mental... final phase yeah, I... and, we didn't really and i'm not saying like a whole the whole six episodes of him in the cabin but explore what his life is and it, and maybe uh, have some new characters come about that are just for this last little bit. That shit was sad. Uh, the ending it, of that though, show. It's so good though. It's, it's perfect the way it is. I, I love it. Incredible. Up on a lot of like plot points were based on like a what is it? Juice X Mis- Mis- Deus Ex Machina. De- oh, that's how it's pronounced. Yeah. Well, you know, like like the whole when he's about to give himself up, and then Elliot and Gretchen come up on TV. And you just there's a quite, quite a lot of plot points w- which are completely based on circumstance sort of thing. But you're let you like let it slide because it's good TV. Yeah, because you're like it's I still so that. fucking that's, good. That's what you call like good television. It's because like they they normally cheating, this shit wouldn't happen in it's real like, life, yeah. but when it does, it, it makes they, it grander. Oh, it, the, the, the the one that I was kind of iffy on was that the plane crash one when yeah I actually still like that still like, kind of irks me. What I yeah. did like was how he actually mentions it. If you remember, he actually mentions it to Jesse. He's like, I think it's in the next season following. It's like, you'll never believe who I saw at the bar, you know, Jane's dad before he crashed the plane. The fact that they acknowledged this really ridiculous circumstance. Yeah. With Walt saying it was a ridiculous circumstance, I felt kind of. That's true. Almost yeah. Almost like made it. That kind of patches excusable. it up a little. The, the, it also helps that it's not just a plane crash that goes like it affects the town. If you remember, he gets pepper sprayed because he, he uses it. He uses the fact that a that what it rained hellfire down on, on his, his house, home yeah. or something like oh, that yeah, and it was also and there were buttons for, and stuff it was a cold opening for four episodes too you know like the pink bear yeah well that's what irked me is that they placed so much importance on a certain part of the story that i thought it was going to flesh out but it was another part of the story that seemed like a b plot that yeah it was fleshing out but i do have to say i don't know if this is like confirmed but a lot of people think that that bear is foreshadowing for what happens at the end of season three Toy Story three, yeah. <laughs> yeah we were gonna say to Gus, <laughs> but Toy Story three. But what's the, that guys, the end of you were season saying four. the new movie coming out. That yeah, is we're so ex- G- we're not we're after, so excited. The aftermath it's of Jesse. Jesse, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which his story is just brutally depressing. I thought we were still talking about Toy Story, and you start talking about Jesse, who's and, uh, a cowgirl, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, they're they're bringing they're merging the worlds. They're in the same universe. Child's Play really went it's really like, went off on the marketing and killing it. the. Yeah, what yeah. they did they did one on killing uh, a cowboy, killing a spaceman, and killing a slinky dog in the posters. Oh, that's right. Oh, they did. Yeah, they did I it several you were joking, times. But I remembered like, oh no, they actually put. I but it wasn't all at once. It was over the course of like a month. They were like, oh. This and did they well, did it, like to like they could legally do it because they changed like the color of Woody's yeah. clothes and stuff, right? Oh, really? Yeah, like, they they, they did like a really. I thought that was a really cool marketing campaign. No, was I was like, cool. oh shit, I can't believe and they, they did that. They changed shirt to like red, but obviously made it obviously obvious. There's that stuffing was, in it. There's then, probably some handshaking under the table too because they're both coming out. So it's kind of like, oh, you know, Chucky just seems like it's it's all in good fun. Yeah. So it's just one of those horror movies that's supposed to be a uh, uh, one of those like it was. It's one of those like. So what did you think of Chucky? Uh, it was fun. It was a horror. You know, it was one of those fun horror movies. It's when people go ah, and then follow it up with "It was fun," which I is love, like that's exactly what you want out of a horror movie. I'm sure. Yeah, I went. I went to the little like mixer for it, and it was it you was sell fun. out. Did you see the film? Oops. No, I did not see <laughs> the film. But I. Uh, they didn't even show good. them the film. They didn't show me the goddamn film. It was fun though. They had like the dolls everywhere and stuff, and I got to meet the kid from it, which was cool. Did and you they, play with them? The kid or the dolls? <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> I played with the dolls, yeah. Uh, I mean, with I did the kid. VR. Yeah, me and him, we, we played, played with, dolls. with dolls. It was fantastic. It was it, it was just what they paid me to do. I came, baby, I came and babysat him, essentially. Okay. It, it, was, it was fun, though. And uh, 
they made so many Chucky movies in the past. There's like Bride of Chucky, it's, Cult it's of like, Chucky, it's Child's like Play. A franchise like Halloween and Friday the 13th well, and Nightmare on Elm Street, right? Yeah, and because and because this one isn't. It's by the canonical. producers of it. It's not, it's not. It's not really with the past Chucky films. Is it like a soft it's it's reboot? a. It's, yeah. It's yeah. It's, it's a. Re, it's, it's a complete a thing, reboot. I would think. I don't know right if his now. name is Chucky in this. I think it's Buddy. Because huh? on his like on his overalls buddy. it says Buddy. He doesn't say Chucky. I think Buddy's buddy the, the doll. Of the Chucky's the murderer. I think oh. Chucky Wait. is the name because it's it's the what it's, is the it's story a the soul of the soul of a murderer goes into the a doll. So and that's how the does story. that happen in the original? I can't just, remember. How does that happen in real life? Or is it just? <laughs> I, I, I honestly that's can't remember. Case. I saw it once when I was a kid, a long time ago. It's scary. I remember it viscerally because he was stabbing some lady's fingers with like a fork or something. That, like that's that. a t- horrifying movie, the original, and just, also just like the one with the ar- little what is it? Army men, army soldiers. What are they called? Little soldiers, small soldiers, small, tiny. No, small soldiers, small dudes. I don't know. You know the one about the the small small sol- I Yeah, I know what you're talking about. There's this thing where they, you know, the the corn cob holders. Yes. Where one of the villain of it is stabbing the kid's fingers with one of those, and I was just like, ah! It freaked me out. Oh, I used to have nightmares about it. I remember I went to Bible camp when I was in like elementary school, and every day you'd get this new like shitty little Chinese toy of like a character from this Bible series you're watching, I and one of them my was my office. A- if you want more. <laughs> Yeah, you can have a little extra one. There was a there was like a purple clam with eyes on it that was like one of the characters because it was like all undersea themed. And I remember I had a dream that it like came to life and wanted to be my girlfriend and started like talking to me and stuff. And and it that horrified clam. me and I and I and I was scared. Yeah, and I th- it was like a big rubber clam and I threw it away in the dream, but it like came back and it wasn't in the trash can anymore. And it was trying to kill me and like got oh, in my room. It was classic. horrifying. Do you do you ever realize with dreams how? You'll be having a nightmare. You'll wake up from it. Then you'll go back to sleep. That nightmare will continue. And no, like, for sometimes it's happened to me like three times, four times in a row. Wait, where it back continues to sleep. after you wake up? Yeah, the nightmare I, will. happened to me. Yeah. But for me, my it's the dreams that I want to continue that oh, I wake yeah. from. Back to bed, and I can't go back. I'm like, no, please go back to that dream. That was such a nice moment. I just yeah, want to go back why there. Why is that? But it's like, but when I'm when I'm having a nightmare and I fall asleep, it just continues it. Like it'll be like. I get away from some dude trying to kill me, and I'm in a hallway, and all of a sudden I wake up and be like, that was scary. I'm going to go back to bed. And all of a sudden I just, I'm right back in the hallway. I'm like, like press fuck! pause, press play. But since I'm in the dream again, it's almost like I'm kind of aware that I'm stuck. But it's still just as scary. But usually like, when that happens, right now. It, it transforms into sleep paralysis if I continue to have the same dream when uh, I wake yeah, up and fall sleep paralysis. I hate that. It's happened to me like three Did or four times. Shit, shit I, think is I always yeah. keep my eyes closed. I, I always I, keep my eyes closed. I, well, the scariest one for me was until I can scream or like make some guttural sound. <laughs> I do. I'm I like but I like still, and then I'm you, like okay, can't I'm awake. You still see them when your eyes are closed because your eyes are actually closed. Yeah, I just I just, I just I just I just I just see dark and sometimes I'll peek out, but like I don't ever see any figures. For me, just, when it happens, it feels like I'm being electrocuted. It's like a it's almost like a vibration throughout you, my whole body. So you see shadows on your bed as well. Yeah. So the scariest one that ever happened to me was I was in high school. My friend was sleeping over. And we were up in the room above the garage where there's like two couches and I was sleeping on one. He was sleeping on the other. And we'd watched an, or some, some like scary fucking alien abduction shit. So I was horrified before we went to bed and uh, he yeah. fell asleep real fast. And I'm laying there right by this like big window. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get abducted by aliens. because I could like see the sky and there were like lights moving every now and then like planes. And I was like, oh, you and I saw a really fun alien abduction movie, though. We did. We did. But. Basically, what happened the name was Phoenix, whatever. Phoenix Rising. Yeah. I fell asleep, like terrified of being abducted. Isn't that the X Men movie that came out? I don't know. But then I woke <laughs> up and uh, I was like fully, I had sleep paralysis, and I was like, oh, "It's happening! I'm being abducted! Like this is it!" And I opened my eyes and and <coughs> in my sleep paralysis, I swear I saw this like gray alien looking over me, like looking straight down at me, and I tried to scream and I couldn't, and then it just like went away, right. and then. I was horrified and I fell asleep and my friend woke me up 30 minutes later freaking out because he said like I had sleep paralysis and it felt like I was being abducted by an alien and I was just like okay are are we actually you know stories like that are exactly why people think they like there are aliens are... well it's scary it's still to this day it's freaky I'm sure just because we had both watched alien movies just yeah. a freak coincidence yeah. but still that night I could not go back to sleep because I was I like why I don't see things when I have sleep paralysis because like for me it's like I, I'm really tight with my eyes yeah. and I'm that used to be my excuse, but you said like people say that they can see things when their eyes are closed. Had, it's like a hallucination. I've only had sleep paralysis like once or twice, but it was like, it was one of those ones where you wake up. Well, you know, sleep paralysis is like when you 
sometimes when you've woken up, but you know, st- your I'm, body I'm still. foggy and I'm still unaware yeah. if it's a dream or if I'm like, awake. I, but you're in like a weird subconscious yeah. state. I remember waking up and then like I couldn't, I don't, I could move. It was one of those multi legends. Basically, I woke up, I, like set up, and there's just this fucking dark thing with like. It sounds cliche, generic, but it had, you know, like just this dark, shadowy, shimmery object figure with like, uh, like piercing eyes. It's always piercing eyes. Why? Why eyes? It's I always like piercing is it because, eyes. Is it because we recognize people it, through their that's, like eyes that's more? Deep, but so? I think so. anyway, I saw. Her, I was like, "What the fuck?" And then I woke, woke up. You know, like holy shit. And then I was like stuck, like in my bed, like you know, completely <laughs> stiff. And there was all these. I. It was like I could see like a third person view of myself. Of all these, Dude, shadow, you just astral projected. these shadow creatures climbing through my window and like surrounding me, and I was just pinned down. I was like trying to move my head, and then I I I literally woke up because I jolted my head so far. Sounds horrifying. I haven't yeah. had that. That's horrifying. I'd have to turn on all the I, lights and I just. I woke up in the process of like my because I obviously I'd, I'd finally because I couldn't move. You broke it. I yeah. finally moved my head and I woke up like. Like smacking my head like really far. I, to the I'm so terrified after like being able to move from sleep paralysis. Like I'll, I'll have my eyes closed and I'll just feel around for my light to turn on. Before I mean, you I feel open another my hand. Eyes. Just like. <laughs> Did you guys ever try lucid dreaming, by chance? No. I so you know all means? of my dreams are lucid, but I don't know it's a dream. Like I can yeah, control all my so actions much. in my dreams, but I never know I'm dreaming. There was one time when I was yeah. a kid where I knew I could control my dream, and I remember it because I was like, I'm gonna turn into a frog, and I did, and it was fun. <laughs> I did that too. <laughs> and <laughs> actually, my the coolest dreams ever had are always flying dreams and lately i've been having these dreams where i'm like flying around shanghai like like a but million moment, miles per hour the, but it's I've, the moment i realize it's a dream i'll wake I went, up no i have the exact same thing but at some point i think during high school because you can actively lose yeah dream there's dream like ways to like, like do it you have like a dream journal all that stuff but anyway i was like for like it's two weeks straight every time i had a dream i'd like write down what happened because you know you know when you have a dream you forget it like an hour later yeah hour. yeah um but basically there were all these little steps you could do like when you realize you're in a dream, you would like, oh no, when you were dreaming, you would, con- when, when before you went to sleep, you would consciously think of turning the lights on and off. So then when you entered a dream, it would be, you know, dreams are based on like what mm-hmm. you think about. So in the dream, when you flick the lights on and off, because it's a dream, the logic doesn't work. Yeah. So when the lights didn't change, you would realize you're in a dream. And then that's when you could do whatever the fuck you want. What if you're trapped in some fucking scary dream? Yeah, but How do you, can you get out if I you if you can, can control your dreams that well? But the, Rests, the, please. The, yeah, that Big what, from boobs. what I could tell is like you know, people could be the people who can lose a dream. You could spend the thing doing like flying around on the moon, fighting unicorns and shit. And then ninety nine percent of the people use it for sex. It's like, bruh, like, like <laughs> you could literally do. You anything. could experience anything you wanted. You could like you're not. You can just have sex in real life. Like yeah. otherwise, you can just in your dream. You can literally do fucking anything. But yeah, I only I only lucid dreamed like once when I was trying it, and then I woke up because I realized I was dreaming. It was like I woke up and there's just this guy in a business suit sitting on the edge of my bed. <laughs> He's like, yo, that's a ghost. That's haunted. That's really haunted. It wasn't spooky, though. He was just like, what's up? Hi, darling. Love the memes. And he (laughs) he put on his business hat and walked out the door. Through the wall. He's like, what's up? I was like, oh, nothing much. Because you know, in a dream, everything makes sense in a dream. And then I went to walk out the door. I was like, wait a minute. Why the fuck is this this random business dude in my bed? I was like, oh, I'm in a dream. It's like, fuck yeah, I finally did it. And And then everything started shimmering. And then I woke up. I was like, Fuck. I'm gonna have a lucid dream now because we've been talking about him. Yeah, I was like, I was just about ready to literally like fly through the roof because apparently you can just do anything. Yeah, flying is the most fun shit to do in dreams. It feels so fucking real. But uh, Must be nice. <laughs> anyway, Dolan, thank you so much for coming on, man. Like for real, it's been a pleasure. We wanted to have you on since the very oh, yeah. beginning. It's- been a minute hey. i remember us talking yeah i remember i messaged yeah, you like two like, and a half years ago i was like do you want to come on the podcast like, seriously or something yeah but uh for real man thank you so much this was this was a this is like really this we we usually never go this long yeah i'm actually surprised to be fair i thought you were gonna do the ending spiel when we got on to incest like i thought that's where you'd be like you know i was actually going to but then i was like oh, it's, it's it's going <laughs> you know let's see where it goes I like, I like so you're like trapped here he's like god damn it's 40 minutes past. Not ending. i can't end it it's their show <laughs> yeah i'm just like thanks for coming along guys i'm your host <laughs> thank These you for having guests. me <laughs> yeah but seriously yeah, where can people find awesome. you pardon where can people find you um just anywhere like your handles where memes are i don't don't really care about self-promotion you really okay yeah just no i mean like where can like where do you live where can people find you yeah Yeah, it's your address (laughs) just dox you on the podcast actual address 
You can go find him. Just go look for where memes are. Dude, just go on Nine Gag. You know. Okay. So, uh, that's his website. Okay, okay. It's it's what he, he posts. His name in the beginning. Rewind if you can't remember it. That that's it's, what it's in it the is. title of the episode. Yeah, it's right. Just yeah. look that up. He, he's cool. Um, and uh, Ryan, do you want to plug yourself? Uh, yeah. You can find me at Subway on Twitter, <laughs> and on Instagram, I am triple three. So. Go find me and like all my shit. I'm a. You can find me. I'm I'm Denise Williams on Instagram. Make sure you go go like all my photos and comment on With them. The capital C. Denise. Yeah. No. Where's there a C in that? Don't you don't you spell it with a C? Who am I following? <sighs> What's your handle on Twitter? Your handle. Matt H Watson. Okay. Well, I'm. You can find me at, at Matt H Watson. Please send me difference. Thank you. You actually, Bye. Pres- <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Dude, thanks so much. Thank you.